I've locked my text and background layer, and we're going to add two more images. The first is a pestle and mortar image, which I'd like to place in my sources area. This image is a JPEG, and we can use InDesign to remove the white background. To do this, please go Object, and we're wanting to go to Clipping Pass. Inside Clipping Pass, please choose Options, and the option that we're wanting is Detect Edges. InDesign does quite a good job of removing the unwanted white. If you've still got little bits that you'd prefer to remove, adjusting the tolerance slightly is going to help you to do that. When you're satisfied, click OK. If the image is a little bit big, you can scale it by going Object, Transform, and choose Scale. Using the Preview button is an easy way to check that the scaling isn't too big or too small. We want our text to wrap around the image. To make that happen, go up to the right hand side and instead of being in the Layers area, click on the Properties area. With your image selected, you should be able to choose a text wrap. And it's okay to experiment with these options. And Design did take a while to calculate the text aware text wrap. We can move the image around. In this case, I suggest moving it to the right hand side. And you'll also want to edit the wrap options so that it's wrapping on the left hand side only. And if I move my image down a bit, next you need to check that all of your text is being correctly displayed. Please click on the text box and look at the bottom right hand side. If you have a small red plus, either make your text smaller or make your image smaller so that all of the text does display. The top right hand side of my poster looks quite empty and I know that centering the heading isn't going to solve the problem. The plan is to add a small image that's going to help make this poster look even better than it already does. In this case our grey spoon image is a vector which means it's perfectly okay to make it bigger by having a scale of more than 100%. I'd encourage you to experiment a bit with your image, noting that if you go to the side, your arrow becomes a curved arrow, and that will let you rotate the image slightly if you wish. And you can also go Object, Effects, and Drop Shadow if you'd like to add a drop shadow to that image. Once you're completely satisfied with the poster, your final step is to export it as a PDF. To do that, go File, Export, choose a sensible location, and choose PDF. InDesign has a number of existing presets. In this case, if we are going to print, we choose high quality print. If you were going to email your poster or use it on social media, then you'd want to choose smallest file size instead. Please push export to create your PDF. Then open your PDF file and check that it is displaying as expected.